Okay, so we are given a problem one on theorem one. In this circle, we are given that there is a triangle AOB and triangle LOP. We are told that the radius of the circle is 4 cm. So this is for OP is also radius, OL is the radius. OA is the radius and OB is the radius. Find angle LOP. So what we need to find out is this. Okay. Now I don't have the details of this. I don't have the details of this. Instead, there's another triangle where I know the two angles. Right? And the way this seems, it is not kind of a vertically opposite angle. So first what I can do is, I can find out in this triangle, angle AOB. Angle AOB is equal to how much? I know two triangle, two angles in a triangle, so the third one I can find out. AOB is equal to 180 degree minus angle OAB minus angle OBA, which gives me 180 minus 30 minus 70. 80 degree. So this angle becomes 80 degree. Okay. But the bigger question is how much is this angle? Now on a careful reading what I notice that LP is equal to 6 centimeter and also AB is equal to 6 centimeter. Right? Now, if that be the case, then what will happen is that we know both of them are what? These are two chords in a circle, which are equal. And if two chords in a circle are equal, the angle formed by them at center is also equal. So the angle formed by AB is equal to 80 degree. If this is 80 degree then by default what it implies is that the angle formed by LP which is nothing but angle LOP is also equal to 80 degree being angle formed by equal chord at center. And if you would have want, you could have done this by proving that both the triangles are congruent. Let's see. So in triangle AOB and LOP, we notice that OL is equal to OA R OP is equal to and the third thing that we note here is that AB is equal to LP is equal to 6 centimeter. So by SSS criterion, triangle AOB is congruent to triangle LOP and therefore it implies that angle LOP is equal to angle AOB is equal to 80 degrees. So you could have used either of these two methods to conclude that angle LOP is equal to 80 degree.